For 25 years. He's an Aztec legend. He is the senior educator at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. You'll love him. You'll clap. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the amazing Eddie Goldstein. Hey. You guys ready for another good live demo hour? Yes. All right. I'll tell you, this is one of the uh, hottest shows in the entire Aztec conference. We get more and more people every year. It's going to be awesome and it's a dynamite show tonight, today. I have to tell you, I have been like flying all over the place. It could be night, it could be day. With these lights, who can tell? Okay, we're going to start the show right out with somebody from England, Ian Simmons. Okay, wave to him, Ian. This is like... Uh, uh, You'll recognize him from his Facebook profile picture. There it is. Ian Simmons is from the Center of Life in Newcastle upon Tyne in the United Kingdom. Now check this out. He was the winner of the best big demo competition in the United Kingdom. That serves a round of applause right there. The Over Ambitious Demo Challenge. Over Ambitious Demo Challenge. And not only that, he's going to do a couple of things. I said to him beforehand, what do you want to call your act? And basically, he didn't know. So I looked at it. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you can try at your own museums that he's going to do that you don't need any props for. And one totally stupid thing at the beginning. So let's have a big round of applause for Ian Simmons to get this show on the road. Thank you, the Leidenfrost effect. Okay, so you might want to not want to try that one at home if you really want to keep your fingers. Um, but there's a good few things that you might want to try at home. And uh, because I come from the UK, and it's a hell of a job to cart props across, so I thought I'd do some uh, things that don't need props. Well, they do need props, but you're my props for this for this one. So, for those of you who are, who are scoffing sarnies at the moment, you might want to put those down because it's kind of difficult to do this um, uh, with a sandwich in your hands. So, okay. Right, what we're going to do uh, is some stuff from uh, my Let's Do the Show Right Here show, which uh, involves just things that you can do with people. So, first thing I'd like you to do is put both hands up like that 
move your fingers together, pull them towards you, and so they're right in front of your eyes, then look at me past the fingers, okay? So, you should have an additional thing for your lunch now, you should have a floating sausage. Can you see the floating sausage? Yeah, you can see the floating sausage. Okay, turn it the other way. You've got a sausage with fingernails. Cool. Great. So, our bodies do extraordinary things. What I want you to do now is to close your eyes, put your finger out in front of you, pointing upwards, and try and touch it with your other finger without opening your eyes. Okay? Was that, was that easy? Could you do that? Yeah, that was easy. So, let's try the same thing. Close your eyes and try and touch your nose. That's easy too. Yeah. Well, one of our lesser known senses is proprioception. That's the kind of sense that tells us where bits of our body are without us having to look. So remember that one. That's, that's proprioception. That makes life easy. Okay, I need to borrow my colleague Andy for a moment here to do the next demo. Um, and for this one, I need him to put his arm up against mine, palm to palm, and I need Andy to look really closely at this and watch where my arm is and follow the movement. So. Okay, that wasn't so good. <laughs> so I'm going to ask Andy to try that one again. Hand against mine. Close your eyes. Now I'm going to move it just as fast. Okay. Thank you, Andy. So okay, that was a bit weird. Because how come he's better with his eyes closed? We're dropping one of his senses out. He should be able, she can't see where my arm is going, yet he's better. Well, when we look at things, our eyes take precedence. You can see what's going on. And the information goes to your brain. Your brain works out what's happening. It tells your arm what to do. When you haven't got your eyes there, your sense of touch is the only thing to rely on to tell you where your arm is. And that doesn't need your brain. Sense of touch works through your spinal cord. So the message goes to your spinal cord, comes back and tells you um, where your arm is and where it needs to go. And because you haven't got the distance to go to your brain and that, the nerve impulses are just a fraction of a millisecond faster. And that's just enough for you to be able to keep up and move your arm. Now, for this one, I'm going to get all of you to do something. So I'm going to divide the audience in half down the middle, this line here, and I need you all to put your lunch down and stand up. Okay. So we're going to try some balancing things. Dividing the audience in half. I want people, I would, well, first of all, I want everybody to stand on, their, on one leg when I tell you in a minute. Not yet, not yet, wait for it. But I want people on this side to close their eyes when they do it. And I want people on this side to keep their eyes open when they do it. So on a count of three, on one leg, close, open. The guys with their eyes open might want to look at the guys with their eyes closed. Not, I'm not saying anything's going to happen, but you might want to look. Okay, one, two, three, balance. Okay, Jess. So it's fair. We're now going to swap. So guys on that side, eyes open. Guys on this side, eyes closed. One, two, three, balance. Okay. Thank you very much. So you sit down. So what's happening there? Well, it's not always better with your eyes closed. When you balance, you've got three senses working on it there. Your eyes see, what, see what's going on. The sense of proprioception that we tried at the start tells you where your limbs are. And your inner ear balances. 
you've got all three working together to keep you upright. As soon as you knock one of those off, your sense of balance is less good. So as soon as you close your eyes, you're wobbling. So um, it's really vital, you have all three senses going to keep you upright. How are we doing for time? Finish this one up. Okay, oh, so that's, I think that's me done then. Well, there you okay. go. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.